Next tonight here to a Diane Sawyer investigation. We have been reporting here on the Me Too movement in this country and for months now, Diane's team asking, what about the women across this country working in restaurants and hotels and the jobs that keep this country going? Well, tonight here, they're eye-opening and very honest descriptions of what they've endured. Housekeeping. There is a silent, invisible force of workers tonight. Messages from room cleaners, housekeepers, asking us to tell their story. Every time that I'm going to their room, I say, oh my God, what's going to happen today? One and a half million of them, 88% female. And they tell us for everyone who speaks, so many more are just too afraid of getting fired. He was completely naked and totally welcome. He took off his robe. We met Estella, who says we have no idea what housekeepers face, telling us about one male guest who asked her for extra towels. I ring the bell many times, nobody. I was saying, oh, he's not here. Get the towels, fold it nicely, put it in the bottom. He was waiting there. He was not. I said, what? I was, my legs shaking. She says she got a sense some people thought she was overreacting. The problem is that the guests think that we are included in the, in the price, the hotel in price, the and the amenities. Hi. Hi. This is Yetmira, who shows us the daily athletic challenge. We have to do 14 rooms a day, 14 bathrooms. It's very, very hard work. She always follows her training to knock three times, speak loudly, never surprise a guest, but admits to being wary of what might be on the other side. You have a guest half naked and it's just waiting behind the door and you don't know. <laughs> and it was not an accident. No, it's not an accident. Yet Mira now has a new tool for her protection, a panic button, and says she feels safe. We can put it on our pocket and nobody can see it. We found out it works. Here? Yeah. In minutes, the security chief barrels up to the door. We just were testing it. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. we, yes, it worked. exactly. It worked. It worked. <laughs> yes, thank you. No, you're welcome. But as of tonight, only about 2% of hotel workers have panic buttons. This is one powerful hour and their bravery on full display later tonight. Diane peeling back a hidden America, what women face all over this country, my reality, a hidden America, special edition of 2020, tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern, right here. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.